going to Martinsville. No, not Martinsville. Uh, Warm and Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan. Yeah. What we're doing in Saskatchewan. We're going to do we're gonna have a holiday. Celebrate. Have That's fun. Right. Yes. Yeah. We'll show you guys what we'll be doing. Yeah. Hi. Good morning, everyone. I am currently in Saskatchewan, Warman, and um, right now it's 9 a.m. The host has been in the kitchen since 6 a.m. preparing for Thanksgiving dinner. So unfortunately, I woke up a little bit too late and probably missed all the major actions. Sorry, guys. But I'm going to go downstairs right now and see what she's doing, and hopefully we can still learn a few things from the host. It'll be really fun. Let's go. I'm gonna introduce you guys. This is our master chef here, our host, Lori. And this is our sister, Brenda. And Oma's in the far corner. She's just relaxing today. <laughs> Are these cornflakes? Those are cornflakes. Yeah. I have a little bit. I was saving them, and I was thinking, oh, I'm going to do breadcrumbs, but yeah. Cornflakes. You could even do a mixture if you don't have enough cornflakes. Oh, I have plenty. Yeah. Okay. I love cornflakes. Am I allowed to use my hands? Yeah. Good. <laughs> it's just easier to spread then, right? Yes. Real chef use their hands. Good. Without gloves. <laughs> yeah. That's your that book too. Yes, but <laughs> mine's still intact. Oh, it's not heated up? No, no, I cook, I cook the beans, but yeah. it just has to be warmed up. Right? Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. How long again? Three and a half hours. Three and a half. They're all basted every hour. Maybe it could be a Half a cup of sugar. Oh. I think so. Think no, that. absolutely not. <laughs> you want the sugar first. Yeah. It's just because you need that sweetness because yeah. it just gives it flavor. Yeah. And a lot of sugar. I only use a quarter cup. All for half a cup. There's no way. It's nice. Mm -hmm. It's stuffed on. Busy. This is not for the salad. No. <laughs> this is for the chef. This is going to sit in water now until we're ready. Nice. So they don't turn brown, right? Yep. Kind of squash is this? It, I'm not sure. It's for Mrs. Freezing. Oh my goodness. Spaghetti. I think it is. Farm to table. We'll find out. Is it spaghetti? I don't look like it. It's a very light colored one. Is it usually hard? Yeah. Oh. It'll be good because it came straight from the garden.
pretty well done here. You want to come and season, Glenda? Okay, seasoning master. That's how I season things nowadays, too. I learned it from you. With what? With the hands. What are we putting? Pepper. Pepper. It would be mostly lemon pepper. My all time go to. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't look very lemony though. It's kind of weird. I think I'll find it smells like, it smells like, Yeah, it does actually. Is it lemon? Lemon pepper. You probably need more butter and salt after. Yeah. You're Italian. Italian. It's, it's, like, it's, okay. it's too coarse? A little bit. I usually put a little bit of water in the pan. Okay. Easy peasy. How, what temperature would you do it? 400? Yeah. Nice. Oh, really? Yeah. That's pretty good. You don't need anything, right? Yeah. Ooh, look at that. I'll put the thermometer in and see. I'm going to do open it for a while. Do you think this is done? I don't think so. So I'll keep it open, eh? Butter it and I don't know. I'm crisp not good. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to crisp it a bit. See, look at Did you get that? I'm going to eat that. Oh, no, but not that. Uh -uh. <laughs> sure. The internal temperature of turkey when it's done. I found this on the web. 165 degrees Fahrenheit, 73.9 degrees oh, Celsius. It's done. Well, maybe not the crust. Oh, did you put it in the light? This is 80. What, it wasn't 73? I'm going to put it in. Just brown it and then I'll... 76. And then you can always just put just, that... I'll just clean it. Cook it. Cook another 10 minutes. What time did you put it in? 11. That's only two hours. Is it healed? Well, the breast doesn't feel very done, so... And then, like, is it, like, loose? Well, I don't know. It's because it's tied down. Maybe 15 minutes. 15? That was fast, eh? That was fast. That was weird. Of course, we used to fight over it. Glenn even knows I eat it. I'm recovering when he's pregnant. And almost behind the scene, she doesn't know about it. She doesn't know about it. Oh, it's good stuff. <laughs> Perfection. I had it at 325. The whole time. Yeah. How much? 325. You don't turn it? No. You know what? That is a lot of work. I know it is. And it's dangerous. I don't want to do that. I know the underside doesn't get that brown, but. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first step. Is it? That's the best. I can't do the dark. Yeah. Smell the dark. Watch it. FYI, I learned a lot of cooking. Lori's really good with desserts. And Glenda's really good with her main meals. She makes gourmet meals. And Oma's really, really good with like comfort food. Water. Yeah. So I'm going to put the flour in water. Oh, flour. Yeah. Water. Yeah. So I'm going to put the flour in water. I'm going to add 
Third dose. Yeah. Does it do a better job? Well, yeah, it thins it out, so I don't know how much more flour I'm going to need to make it I just said that's hardly any gravy. We cook differently, apparently. <laughs> I can't keep up. Yeah. The garlic. Yeah. <laughs> In the next episode, we're going to show you how to make this chocolate truffle cheesecake. Well, technically, it's Lori who will be showing you guys how to make this. And it is to die for. You'll see why I was hiding in the room eating this. <laughs> and until next time, love you guys. <laughs>